up geeks? Yeah, plenty of you. So when I was growing up geek, it wasn't easy. Geek and dork were basically interchangeable. I mean, we had Pong in the basement, but we were still getting beat up behind the school. Right? So geek definitely wasn't a fun thing to be. Somebody changed all that, right? Steve Jobs made it awesome to be a geek. And today, the geek tent is so much bigger than it used to be. You know, it used to be geeks and band geeks. I was both. But now there's lots of different kinds of geeks, which is awesome for parents worried about their kids growing up to be Dwight Schrute, right? Now we've got all sorts of, we got comic book geeks, and music geeks, and history geeks, and literature geeks, and physics geeks. But how do you know if your kid's a geek, especially if you're not, right? This is my daughter, Emma, at two, right? So you're going to see the signs, OK? Look for fascination with the Discovery Channel, zombies, robots, ability to type 80 words a minute, right? Those kinds of things are a good sign. And geek is a binary lifestyle. You are or you aren't. There's no sort of in-between, right? So if you're a geek parent, you need to prepare yourself. The first step is cultural assimilation. Men in Black, Princess Bride, Lord of the Rings, Office Space, War Games, Back to, back to the Future, let's see, uh, Aliens, Hackers, Goonies, Ghostbusters, 2001, Time Bandits, Terminator, Tron, Matrix, Labyrinth, Westworld, uh, Holy Grail, Hackers, uh, Goonies, Ghostbusters, um, let's see, uh, and of course Star Wars and Star Trek. And don't fight about Star Wars or Star Trek or we'll just end up with Vigo the Carpathian and a River of Slime in the basement, right? So, bad news. Okay. Keep it clean. OK, so these are two of my favorite resources for raising geek kids. Think Geek is awesome, right? They sell everything geek. And our own Gangplank right here in town has an amazing program for kids called Gangplank Junior. Uh, in November, they're going to be writing novels. This guy's my hero. He took his kids on vacation. He told them that the Ewoks lived in the park. And when he got back, he photoshopped Ewoks into all of their vacation pictures, right? So use your own creativity, which is awesome. OK, geeks have to be connected, right? Extra points if you know what these are, right? They don't need to have the latest tech. Hand-me-downs are fine. They're probably going to tear them apart and make something different out of them anyway. But there are risks to having connected kids, I have to tell you. This was my scariest day as a parent. This is one of 400 text messages sent to my 10-year-old daughter from a guy who met her in an online game designed for kids. Now, she's OK. Thanks, Chandler PD. We went into lockdown mode, as you can imagine. I now have software that monitors what she does on her phone and her computer. But what happened to Emma is a common geek problem, right? Differentiating between reality and virtual reality can be kind of tough. Sometimes it's just embarrassing. Sometimes it's actually dangerous, right? So as geek parents, we really need to help our kids safely connect with the community that's out there to support them. And what an amazing community it is, right? I love geeks. They're awesome. And they really exemplify so many of the qualities that I want my kids to have as they're growing up, right? The first is a sense of humor, right? <laughs> geeks love to laugh at themselves, which is awesome because we're all <laughs> We're all basically 12-year-old dysfunctional kids, right? So kids usually get this without too much explanation, but a, a sense of humor is super important if you're a geek. Uh, fearlessness, this is my daughter Emma, the day before her 11th birthday, tattooing Chris Conry at a Gangplank Junior event. Okay? They need to be able to do scary things in a safe environment. I was the best mom on the planet for like two whole weeks after this happened, right? Passion. This is what Ignite is all about, right? And the weirder, the better for geeks. No matter what your passions, fly your flag and be proud. And I love that message from my kids. <laughs> Tolerance. The geek community is so weird, right? That sort of uh, um, accommodating and even encouraging individuality and strange things is a fundamental geek trait. Another great message for kids growing up, right? Self-confidence, <laughs> obviously, right? It's not easy to get through high school wearing a Bill Nye the Science Guy t-shirt, OK? So if you are raising geek kids, the best I, advice I can give you is help them safely connect with that amazing community, find their people, whoever they are, 
right, and fly their weird little flag. My favorite geek gives the best advice that I can give you. Engage. Thanks.